Hello Aquarius, welcome to your February love reading for 2018. This reading will take you from February 14th, Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day everybody, to March 15th. Now if you follow my channel, you know that I don't normally do a separate love reading, but I've been guided to do it this month, uh, likely because of the full moon the end of January, January 31st, as well as it being a lunar eclipse. Plus we have Valentine's Day coming up, plus we have a new moon on February 15th. So Spirit is wanting to give you a little bit of extra guidance for those of you that feel you need it. There we go. Now I want to thank you for viewing, subscribing, liking, and sharing, and for the purchases you've made on my website for the 2018 Year Ahead Spreads. Thank you so much. Bottom of the deck card is trust. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. Now your first card, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Quite a few uh, readings have had that card. Ooh, yow, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. That's awesome. And it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Wow, this is, these are great cards, Aquarius. Okay, let's see. Okay, for some of you, I see, <laughs> I, I see somebody zigzagging down the street because you get a, a sign here, so you go in this direction, thinking it's the right direction, and then you get a red flag, so you come back this way, and you see another sign, and so you head back in this direction because you think it's the right direction, and then you get another red flag. Um, you're getting the red flags because you're not understanding what spirit is trying to tell you or the direction spirit is trying to guide you with the signs and synchronicities they're giving. So one way to better understand things is to meditate if you don't already. Um, another way is to get yourself grounded. If you live in a warm climate right, or climate right now, what you can do is go outside, walk around in your bare feet in the grass, sit on the grass, uh, put your feet in the dirt, put your hands in the dirt, hug a tree, um, be in the nature. But if you can do it barefoot, all the better, because the earth, uh, feeds us with ions that are important to our well-being and it, it just it makes it easier for spirit to get through to you. Uh, pay attention to your dreams because they will be giving you messages in your dreams. Numbers, uh, songs, names, okay? So numbers you can look up on the internet and they'll give you the spiritual or symbolic, spiritually symbolic meaning for the numbers. But the point here is you are understanding the red flags. I see that you're getting that because as soon as you hit a red flag, you go in the opposite direction. But you can avoid the zigzagging part of all of this if you would just hear and understand the other messages, the signs that they're giving you soulmate card. Yes, this is your soulmate. For some of you, I don't feel this person has come in yet. They're not quite in your life. They're either just right on the very edge of coming in or they're about to come in. Like they're just, you've met kind of deal, but you're just, you're not too sure. Yes, this is your soulmate. 
the person that is coming in down the road, yes, this is your soulmate, okay? You do have your soulmate coming in or has just come in. I feel for most of you, though, this person isn't here yet, and I'm hearing the reason why is because you're not open to it. You might still have some healing to do with your heart chakra because of past relationships, or for some of you it's because you did actually just go through an ending, the end of January, or, you know, thereabouts, give or take. And you haven't healed from that yet. But for some of you, this is you feeling um, very negative toward um, the opposite sex as far as relationships go. And again, it, it comes back to you being hurt by someone in the past, okay? So just know that this next person that comes into your life is your soulmate and it's safe. It's safe for you to open up to them. It's safe for you to be vulnerable to them. It's, it, and in fact, if you want it to work out, it's a necessity. You need to trust and have faith that this person is not going to hurt you, okay? And pay attention to the red flags because they're steering you away from the wrong person because this person is coming in. Okay, so for those of you that are considering a relationship with someone and, you know, there's just one thing after another that seems to be pulling you apart or pushing you apart, pay attention to that because spirit is keeping you open for this person. Okay, you have your soulmate coming in, likely your twin flame soulmate. All you have to do is trust and have faith that they're coming and when they get there that they are who they appear to be and it's safe for you to love them. Wow, this was this was probably the shortest, easiest, best reading I've had yet. This is really good, Aquarius. You have some great stuff coming in here. Just be open to it, okay? Steer clear of the wrong person and be open for the right person and you'll know the right person. You'll know, you'll feel it. It's going to feel amazing, amazing, like nothing you've ever known before and not too good to be true, okay? So thank you again for liking, viewing, sharing, subscribing. Uh, until next time, Aquarius.